I've recently noticed that a lot of people who are trying to get into Malifaux are having a hard time trying to decide what to buy. Let's see if I can help clarify a bit. If you're new to Malifaux, and especially if you come from other miniatures games, you might have noticed that Weird does things a little bit differently. We have core boxes, we have starter boxes, but it may not be super clear what the difference is. But before we get into that, let's touch a little bit on how list building works in Malifaux. So to start, Malifaux's got eight factions. The Guild, Arcanist, Neverborn, Resurrectionists, Outcasts, Bayou, Ten Thunders, and Explorer Society. And within each of those factions, there's eight masters each. Now in a standard game of Malifaux, most crews are going to be led by a master. You can have a henchman lead your crew, but if you're just starting out, it's probably better to focus on a master for now. But for the purposes of list building, it might be easier to think of the masters as individual factions among themselves. The reason I say that, every master in Malifaux has at least one keyword. Let's take for example, Colette. Colette is an Arcanist master, and she has the keyword Performer. Now this means that if you choose Colette as your master, you can hire any models with the Performer keyword by just paying the cost in soul stones that's listed on their card. Now most models that share a keyword will also share a faction, but that's not always the case. For example, Colette can hire Harada, who's in the Explorer Society faction. Now, in addition to all the performers, Colette can also hire any Arcanist model with the keyword Versatile. Versatile simply means that any master can hire the model as long as they share the same faction by again paying the listed soulstone cost. Finally, your third option is that Colette can hire any model in the Arcanist faction, but if it doesn't share her keyword or have the versatile keyword, then you pay one extra soulstone when hiring the model. This is often referred to as the out of keyword tax. So for example, if Colette decides she wants to hire a fire gaming, they'll cost five soulstones instead of four. In a normal game of Malifaux, you'll have a pool of 50 soulstones to spend on hiring models and purchasing upgrades, with the leftovers remaining as your soulstone cash to be used as a currency throughout the game. So, back to the matter at hand. If you're just getting into Malifaux, what you're going to need is some models and a deck of cards. Now, Malifaux can be played with a standard deck of poker cards, but my recommendation would be to get one of Weird's Fate decks. It might cost a little more money, but Fate decks have special suits that are equivalent to your spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs from normal playing cards. But if you're just getting into the game, it'll make the process a lot easier if you have a Fate deck that reflects rams, tomes, crows, and masks. Not only will it be easier when you're first learning the game to not have to convert the suits, but most of Weird's Fate decks also come with helpful little indicators of certain game mechanics, such as how much damage a certain card will do. Again, more things for you to not have to memorize for your first game. Now, as far as models go, my recommendation would be to choose what to buy based on the master you'd like to play. So go through all the available masters and decide who you like based on the rule of cool. Do you like a former college professor who fights by ordering around mutated animals and has a gorilla sidekick? Well then Marcus is your guy. Would you rather play as a gremlin with delusions of grandeur who flies around in a stolen steampunk airship? Then Zip's probably more your speed. Do you want to play as a former prostitute who's on a mission to resurrect her dead boyfriend and summons angry ghosts to attack her enemies? Well then Karai is probably for you. But once you've decided on a master, your first purchase, hands down, should be that master's core box. A core box generally is going to consist of the master, their totem, which for the most part is going to be a weaker model that the master gets to hire for free, and so it'll be in almost every normal game you play. And then a series of other models that are in the master's keyword. Most of the time, it'll be a minion with three variants, and then a henchman. And the reason this should be your first purchase is because that'll be the easiest way to get that master on the table with a bunch of other models that you know will work well with it. For example, if you decide you want to play Titania, you can pick up Titania's core box, and that gets you Titania herself, her totem, the Gorar, her henchman, Aislinn, as well as three Autumn Knights. That's already almost 30 soulstones worth of models just from one box. Now to contrast that, a starter box is something a little different. So far there's a starter box out for four of the eight factions, and the other four should be on their way soon. A starter box consists of four models. At least one of them will be a henchman, but there'll be no masters in the box. In addition, you'll also get a fate deck, a measuring widget, and some 30mm tokens that can be useful in the game. The starter boxes are a great value, and they're not a bad first purchase, because every starter box comes with a crew that's compatible with a smaller, faster version of the game called Henchman Hardcore. And the models will always be versatile, which means that they can be hired by any master you later decide that you want to play within that faction. Plus, all those extra tools can be really good for new players, and as I said earlier, you're going to want a fate deck. But, keep in mind, in a standard game of Malifaux, most people are going to play with a master. And because of that, my advice would be to pick your master, buy their core box, and then consider buying the starter box for your faction as a second purchase. If you're going to get value out of the extras that come in the starter box, or you just really like the models it comes with, then I definitely recommend the starter. But if you're not particularly fond of the models, and you already have a fate deck and some tokens, then you're probably better off skipping it altogether. If you decide not to pick up the starter box, but you want to fill out a full 50 soulstone list using the core box you already purchased, then check out the other boxes that include the keyword that you chose. The boxes will actually show the keyword that they apply to right on the side, so you can be sure they go with your master. 
or you can check on Weird's website or the Malfo app to figure out what other models are in your keyword. So for example, if you're playing Titania, you could pick up the Howling, Killjoy, or the Malasaurus Rex. But either way, my advice would be buy the core box for the mask you like, consider buying the starter box, or alternatively, buy another box to go with that keyword, and then start playing the game. Once you have a few games under your belt and you understand some of the rules a little bit better, then you can start planning out your next purchases and looking at versatile models. For example, every faction has an effigy puppet and its big brother, the emissary, and both of them have the versatile keyword. But unless you're trying to get into competitive games, my advice would be to stick to your keyword until you've got a little bit of experience under your belt. So I hope that clarifies a few things for everybody and makes it a little bit easier to get into the game. The whole keyword system and the way you buy models in Malifo is not actually that complicated. It's just a little different than how other companies do it, so it can be a little confusing to start. But it's not many other war games that you can spend about 70 bucks and have a full tournament ready list ready to go. If there's anything you're still not clear about or you have other questions, definitely either post a comment below, hop into the Discord, or post on Weird's forums. One of the best things about this game is the community, and everybody will definitely be eager to help in any way they can and answer whatever questions you might have. I'll leave a couple links in the description to other videos that you might find useful when you're first getting into the game. And last thing, if you're having trouble deciding on what master you want to play, then keep an eye on the channel, because I'm going to be doing faction introductions, and hopefully that'll steer you in the right direction.